Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is another episode of Tutorial Tuesday and we're going to be doing something really, really simple, straightforward and cool. And this is actually one of those requested videos like how do you make ropes in Houdini or curves and this is because we made a video one time where we talked about how you can easily make ropes in Maya and you know it's quite very easy and this tutorial Tuesday is going to be a very short one and I'll show you how you can make these things and how you can actually you know create or create your own so we're going to start off very basic so this is Houdini and just in case you have never used Houdini you shouldn't be scared about it it's just very simple straightforward so I'm, we're not going to do any kind of math nothing nothing like that all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to be within this space here is where you do all of the node thing that ever exists in Houdini so I'm just going to go ahead and press tab on my keyboard if you're working in blender this is similar to hitting shift and a all right so you are going to press tab on that keyboard and type the word geo which is geometry press enter to get this in so I'm just going to double click right in to jump right inside and from there this is where we're going to do everything that would exist in a geometry so a very good way to explain this is think about Houdini the way Houdini works like this so we want to create a cup all right so you have to go inside a cup geometry so we're going right inside this cup geo and within here is where we're going to add all the properties that has to do with this cup all right if you want to create something like um a car for example so i'm just going to use this as a, another reference so what properties that this car is made up of is what we're going right inside here to create the same thing happens if you want to do your whole shading and all that so you need to create the geo or the geometry that you want to start off with and you go right inside there and you find all the properties is how you work with houdini so inside this geometry this is where we're going to do all of the rope thing that we want to do all right so i'm just going to press tab on my keyboard and real quick i would go ahead and create a very very simple curve and press enter to have this curve here and also other things that you can do is we can just press the tab key and type the word line and get a simple line here i will also go ahead and bring out a simple circle and let me just type that cic all right so we have circle directly here and what can we do with this so by default we have this line and the line is faced in one direction we would like to move this line in a different direction so we would like to face this in a different direction so what we can do now is we can come over to this line and check out how much this line's length is by the way in case you cannot see this on your viewport it simply means that this is not selected so you need to turn this on so you also notice that there is a couple of nodes or a couple of uh things or switches that you need to turn on when you're working with an object all of these objects have they do have um visual identity so something that you have to look at and know that okay this is what this is at a given point in time so if you want to make anything visible you need to make sure that this display is turned on and this other one is if you want to template it if you want to freeze this and also if you want to just simply bypass this at any uh, point in time okay so we want this line to be visible so we have to turn the line on directly here we don't want it to face that direction so i'm just going to turn that to zero and go over here and press one on our keyboard just to make sure that it's pointing towards the x y and z axis so towards the z axis okay next thing which you want to do is to also check this so you might have also found out whenever you're working with or if you have ever worked with compositing app that there is something called a merge node so with the merge node you will be able to actually see multiple things at the same time so now we can see these two things at the same time although this is not what we're going for but it's very very simple to actually you know show you guys just in case you want to see what you're working with at any given time all right so i'm just going to bring this down and for this particular object i would like to make this a polygon so just to have it as a polygon nothing too special you know i just want to make it a polygon that's it all right so i have this as a polygon now and this is going to be about it now how do we go ahead to make these pipes ropes all those you know incredible things and also note that every single object that you have selected by just simply clicking on the node that's responsible you get to see the properties here so what i'm going to do now is do something you should know already called sweep so i'm just pressing the tab key and i'm also going to type sweep directly here now i'll tell you why uh, houdini is quite fun to work with 
So I'm just going to connect this here and go ahead and connect this directly here. If you press Y on your keyboard and hold, you can cut this through. So with this now, you uh, definitely see. So let's just take this off because we don't want it. Another way you can take things off if you don't want them from the node is just simply shake them and they will be all the way out. So I'm just going to turn on the sweep. And with this sweep selected, the next thing which you would want to do is go over here. All right. Go over here and select this and change it to skin with auto closure and there you have it all right now this is the main reason why houdini is way more way more procedural than most of the tools that i've shown on this channel so why is it procedural or what makes it so special well, one of the things that makes it so special is this that you can now go ahead and increase this um the vision at any point in time you can choose to scale this all right you can choose to actually go in here and throw in a transform node and with this transform node at any point in time if you want to rotate this object you are free to rotate this object so let's say we want to rotate this object like this you're free to rotate this object and you can also notice by default that directly in houdini we have different units of scale or different units that we can use to make a simple or a complex rotation okay so now i have this here let's just take this off one more thing I would like to share is once we're done, let's go ahead and do a very simple reverse. So we're just going to drop that reverse directly there and hit this. The reason why we're reversing this is because you might have noticed that we have back facing uh, showing on this other side when we're on this node. So I'm just clicking here so we can have this on this other side. All right, cool. You might have also come to understand that our line here, all right, that this particular line that we have is what is driving the length. So if I go ahead, I can increase the length, reduce the length, increase the length. And you might have also noticed that I only have two number of points earlier. So, but now if I go ahead and increase, you can see how much subdivision or how much number of points I can get with this. So this is something really cool for you to work with just in case. But then you might also have a couple of questions. Questions like, what if I want to, you know, place my lines by myself? What if I have a curve I've drawn out and I want this? So if you draw out a curve, by default, you can just drag in that curve and, you know, connect it here. And whatever you connect directly here gets to sweep to it. Okay. So let's uh, play with how you can, you know, draw your own curve. So we already came up with something called curve in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is just simply click with this drag and drop it directly here now that you've dropped it you've automatically found out that there is nothing so if i come through and click on this object you'll notice that there is basically nothing here for us to work with so what we can do is we can go over to our viewport press enter on our viewport and start drawing directly on the viewport so for us to actually get this thing into very good perspective i'm going to go over to the top view and let's switch this to top view and from this top view i'll go over and you know click and see what happens click 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 you see so as i keep clicking i am automatically creating our curve and you can see our object is sweeping through this curve as we click so i can have this selected and then i can turn down the uniform scale of this if i want and at the same time because i already have this i can also say maybe i want this to be way more than this I can add in something called a resample node and with a resample node all right i can resample this object at any point in time so there's just a lot of things that you can play with this and there's a lot of things you can do with this if you want to also make this uh, a digital asset something that you can send off to let's say you want to send this thing off to someone else so that someone can work with it of course you can still go ahead and send these things off if you still want to simply use this circle all right with this circle selected let's say you want to add something else you want to sweep something through with this you can just simply press the tab key go over to where you have primitives select whatever you want and use those things to drive your uh your sweep node so this is basically this is basically it and for other things that you may want to do i guess this would be more like a building block for you to have a very good understanding of how you can work with this especially if you're new to houdini or let's say you want to simply create or have fun or playing with things in houdini this is how simple it is to create things like this 
and that's going to be about it guys if you have questions about this if you have questions about houdini if it's something i can deal with put those questions in the comment section below and i will be very excited to show you guys how to work with these things and if you like this video you know what to do hit the like button turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next video the next episode of anything coming up and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update review free friday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.